ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, this is another episode of 94 Feet Podcast. It's your boy, Big Zeke in the building. I hear my brother, Dre. What's good, everybody? Happy to be back. I'm also here with my brother, Kesey. What's good, good people? Good to be in the building. How y'all doing today? Doing great, man. It's finally summer in Milwaukee. Although we could use a little rain. Man, that grass is a little brown. That grass is brown. <laughs> that grass. If you a homeowner and you take care of your lawn, man, you are really upset right now because that grass is dang near burnt. And yeah. I don't know if y'all remember the last time the, gla- the grass burnt like that and all the trees died. Mm. It takes years to recover some good mm-hmm. grass and some good trees. Now, here's the deal, though. See, he's in a lot of water. I don't yeah. Care. Yeah. I'm, I'm not tripping. I, I'm not. I'm not a homeowner. Uh, I don't care about the grass. But do you like the beauty? You want your, your you want where you live in your city to be beautified. Oh man, you? it's summertime. No nah, man, I like sundresses and no panties and big booties. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm concerned about. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> so here's the thing about being concerned about that. While we love to see that. Yeah, it's not wrong with some green grass. Ain't that right? Ain't nothing wrong, wrong with some green grass. Some green grass. But man, I'm I'm loving that. The summer's off to a great start, man. It is. This is a nice, great start to the summer. Uh, it'd be even better if we were the NBA Finals. We were the NBA Finals. This city be acting a fool right now. Probably good we didn't. It's probably good we didn't because, you know, the city of Milwaukee can't handle multiple things at the same time. We I was would be tra- acting a fool right now. Plus, like you said, the Admirals. Did they win? I, I was traveling yesterday to the Admirals game. No lie to you, fellas. This is how crazy the city is. I got on the highway. I always check uh my my siri to see what's going on in the area mm-hmm. so i don't have to take the interstate mm-hmm. so i asked siri i said what's going on in milwaukee they said there are no events planned so i got on the interstate and i was on the interstate it, it should take me 15 minutes to get to downtown milwaukee from where i live brother i guess there was a chris stapleton concert at who i have no idea you know my music taste is diverse i don't know who that is bruh traffic was backed up for three hours same time the traffic was backed up, it was a shooting on the interstate at six o'clock. So that's what happened. It was a shooting on the interstate, and it was a Chris Stapleton concert. It so, was it, it was jam packed on the freeway, and I had no idea why. I was like, I'm thinking, oh, Admiral's game. But the funny thing is, nah. I don't know why. This is I don't know why, but you like you just say you check Siri. No events going on in Milwaukee. No. This is, what about the Admirals game? I'm like they yeah. don't, the Admirals don't get no respect. I, well, so here's the thing about the Admirals, man. First of all, shout out to the Admirals, man. My mentor Harris Tour. The Admirals are an AHL team. I know. So if you don't follow hockey, you don't even know that they're playing, right? And they don't get they play in the Panther Arena, which is not even. 18,000 people, maybe 6,000. So they draw a good crowd, but not a crowd that's going to cause a jam on the interstate. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying, man. It, it, it's crazy. So who, did they win the game? They are not. They are down three games to two. So, so they're done. They have to three possibly. Three games to two? Three, three to two. Oh, really? They're okay, so they're still in it. They're still in it. So okay. they have to play in Palm Springs. But here's what's tough about that, man. They have to go now win a game six and seven. And this would be go to the championship. This right? is when they'll go to the Calder Cup, which is you know the what the Calder Cup, which is the the championship of the AHL. So, but uh, I'm your friend because I could have said something, <laughs> but I'm your friend. Listen, y'all should know me. My, not much bothers me because my job. I'm back, your friend. Uh, my job back game is great, but y'all I'm know your that. friend. So I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> go ahead and say it. Anyways, go ahead and say it. anyways, you gotta welcome Kesey. You welcome anyways. Kesey. Shout out to my brother Keith. How you doing? <laughs> I did. Nah, I didn't. He did. Oh no, I didn't because he took all the airtime. No, but you start talking to me. On, Keith? What's going on, y'all? Like hey, y'all living, man? I'm good, all right, man. I'm good, man. I'm good. I like your hat, man. Very nice. Appreciate it. Yeah, Appreciate it. I would say I like yours. Man. Yeah, it's so part of the collection. You know what I'm saying? Very nice hat. Okay. Drew Holiday actually commented my hat at church today. Not this one, man. I wore the red one with the green bucks on the side, the original. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, I ain't never seen that bucks hat before. Did you give it to him? No. For what? He can buy his own. What? Shouldn't have been like you, brother. You should be like here, brother. <laughs> no, nah, I'm good like, here you go, man. No, nah, I'm good on that. You didn't so, even ask him to sign it? No, nah, man. We can't. You see, I'm not starstruck. I, I don't, don't want to argue. Starstruck. I just want you to be like, do a kind be like, hey, here you go, Drew. Yeah. Nah, and then man. Drew be like, oh, man, thank you, there's, man. Anything there's, you need from me, you let me know. There's, there's, Bam, you know, guess. You know, there's, some res- there's, there's some certain levels of respect. That's respect. You give it to him. Things we can and can't do. Respect. You can't give him the hat. That's not. 
Why? Because nah, he could have. No, Trey could have gave it no, to him. Didn't. He didn't want to. Nah, he didn't want, he want to. to. I know nah, he did. I got the same one. No, I could. That's a nice hat. So, Drew yeah, complimented. Yeah. So, a Bucks player likes our gear. He didn't even know we had it. You copied off of me. Kesey, I, I had the hat first. No, bro. you didn't. Kesey, I had the hat first. No, you didn't. Kesey. Well, no, you make, didn't. When did you get the hat? Don't make a bet with him, buddy. When did you get the hat? When did I get the hat? When did you get the hat? Like April, beginning of April. Ooh. When did the playoffs start? Beginning in know. April. I went. I went to the pro shop and bought four bucks hats at the same when, time. I remember when you went. I'd already had. Oh, it. Oh, he already oh. had it. That's I remember that. Well, that's why they make multiple pair. You know how many people got the same pair of shoes he got on his feet? <laughs> <laughs> you know how many people wear the same pair of shoes? Shoes. Can we move on. Shout out to my brother. Just like, man. just like with the uh, SUV. <laughs> yes, I have a very nice black. But we're not gonna go there, though, are we? No, well, we are yeah. since you brought it up. Can we? Can we just? Can we just leave it alone? No, can we just leave it alone. Move on. Why you not? know what? I'm can like the brother where you can't say I get the last lick because I'm always get the last lick. So stop breaking that up, dude. Can you just move on? I don't know. I don't want to. Let me see. Well, we're seven minutes in. We can move on. Happy Ooh. Sunday, brothers. You ain't no good. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> He, you been to me wasn't no good when he came in with that Laker hat on. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. let's just move oh, on. so you want me to move on? All right, let's just hat. move on with let's your white socks. On hat. What? I didn't have a bet to wear a Laker hat. But you from Milwaukee? You don't wear Chi- you don't wear Chicago stuff. Look. The exception is the Bulls, mm. the old Bulls. Can we move oh, on? one more thing before we move on. Okay. I saw a great clip on Facebook that made me really excited. It was when Scottie Pippen was with the Trailblazers, and they were up by 17 on the Lakers. And the Lakers came back and beat them in the final three minutes. Uh, that was when Scotty was the leader of the Trailblazers. So uh, shout out to the Lakers from 20 years ago for beating Scottie Pippen and the Portland Trailblazers. You can't because, just let it go, huh? Well, because we know that Scotty can't do it without Mike, and that tape proved it. So Mike said it. Okay, Mike. Mike said Scotty Mike. Pippen is my greatest teammate ever. I couldn't do it without Scotty. Absolutely, but we also know that Scotty definitely couldn't do it without Mike. There you go. That too, but also, you know what? I'm not gonna let you pull me in. Because <laughs> everybody know Jordan without Scotty Pippen was a loser. And it's fine. So it's let's home, just move bro. on. We need the hospitality back, bro. We're the fridge and the water, man. Y'all know you listen to bring us some water, bro. Anyways, <laughs> um injury report. No injuries, no excuses. Uh, in other NBA, in other news around, in other news around the NBA, uh, Nick Nurse has reached an agreement to become the next coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. Uh, Nurse chose the 76ers over the Philadelphia uh, over, over the Phoenix Suns. Nurse wants to work with Embiid and has a history with GM Darnell Mooney. What do you guys think of this pair? Again, what concerns me about Nick Nurse is that he passed on the Bucks, he passed on the Suns to go to Philly. I'm not convinced that Joel Embiid is fully bought into Phoenix, nor am I convinced. Come on, Nurse? Nick, N- no, I, I'm not convinced. I'm sorry, the Sixers. I'm not convinced that Embiid is going to stay there, and I'm not convinced that James Harden's going to stay there. Well, I know James Harden is gone for sure. Yeah, so Nick Nurse, this will prove if he's a good coach because good coaches do need you need to be able to coach superstars. Uh, Joel Embiid has missed the, the, the FNBA Finals again. He can't even get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I was going to say he's never been. I like Nick Nurse with Joel Embiid. I think Nick Nurse is a good coach, but I don't think coaching Philly is going to be as easy as he thinks it is because uh, Joel Embiid is plagued by injuries. Uh, You're not going to have the same supporting cast. You got to pay some people or get some people out of there. Uh, I I like that he's loyal to um, the GM because, again, they do have history. Uh, I like it for Nick Nurse, but I don't think it's going to be easy as he thinks it is. Do you think he can get them over the hump? Uh, so without seeing what their roster is going to look like, I can't really say. I think he'll be a good coach for Embiid, though, because he was a good coach for Kawhi Leonard. So I think he'll be a good coach for Embiid, though. I don't. Um, well, let me ask you this question. Even though Joel Embiid has won um, MVP, he led the league in scoring. Um, I think we can all see that now. But even though he led the league in scoring, and, or I don't know if he led the league, but I know he's top three. Do you think, um, what do you think as far as Embiid as an overall player? Do you think he is 
I heard a commentary say he was lazy. Like he's the laziest MVP I've ever seen in my life. And to me, it goes back to like Nick Nurse isn't a player's coach. So he's not going to coddle you. He's not going to um, say, hey, good job. He's going to be on your, he's going to be on your butt. He's going to demand hard work. He's going to demand more of, of Joel Embiid, especially if James Harden isn't there. You got Max in there, but still, I don't. They're going to pretty much have the same roster. Um, they're going to have somebody kind of, they're going to have to find somebody to replace James Harden. But I don't see, I don't know about them getting over the second round. I think um, I'm kind of with you, Dre, when you talk about like you need to see their roster. Um, <laughs> Because Harden ain't guaranteed, right? Gar- Harden is a free agent. They're already saying that him to Houston is a done deal for a ridiculous amount of money. Really? Yeah. Cause- I- I'm going to tell you, man, it- Emmy Oduko, players like him and people like him. I don't know if y'all – and I don't know if this is on your Who? docket. The coach, the Neil Long husband, oh, Emmy okay. Oduko, right? Can you see how you say his name? Yep. Emmy Uduko, I don't know if y'all saw the recent headline. He took all the assistants from the Boston Celtics. All of them. That's a team that was just in the conference finals. And a non-proven Rockets team, he took all the assistants. And he's the type of coach that's going to be able to draw in players and coach them. So Houston might be able to get some additional talent behind James Harden, perhaps a Kyrie Irving. I don't know what that dynamic is like with him and James Harden. So with Harden not being in Philly, I don't know if uh, the 76 are, are as good. That's just me, honestly. I don't know if they're as good without James Harden. Mm. They're not. No. Nah. He draws a lot of attention, even though he ain't who he used to be. He draws a lot of attention, which allows Embiid to be as successful as he is. Mm-hmm. Embiid can get you 25, but when Harden's there, that 25 is way easier. Agreed. I, I, I agree with that. Uh, I just don't feel like – I do feel like Nick Nurse seen a good GM. He's seen a, a future Hall of Fame player. Is like, I can work with this. Um, him passing up the Bucks and him passing up um, Phoenix, to me – it's screen it, it to me it says a lot about their team, but I wasn't too high on Nick Nurse. I was I was cool with it, but I wasn't like too high on us. I wasn't like tripping. But everybody in the NBA wanted Nick Nurse. Casey, he was, how do you like the signing of Nick Nurse? He was a top uh um, candidate. I think Nick Nurse is a decent coach, but at the same time, I was watching um the Gill show. Mm-hmm. And he was just like, How do all of these superstars keep getting all of these non, what do you call them? Hall of Famer coaches. Non Hall of Fame coaches. Yeah. Coaches. What happened to all the Hall of Fame coaches? <laughs> they, they get old. They assistants. Well, They're they, assistants and they're getting old because the Bucks. But how do you be? How do you be a Hall of Famer coach? Are you assistant now? Well, because sometimes you have to prove yourself back. You have to prove yourself back. It happened to Frank Lawrence. It happened to uh, Mike D'Antoni. It happened to uh, PJ Carlissimo. It happened to what's the black coach that used to coach for uh New Orleans before Monty Williams? Like Lenny, was it Lenny? No, not Lenny Wilkins. Lenny's an old oh, school old coach. coach. Um Alvin Gentry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no. It happened yeah. to Alvin Gentry. So it happens. Terry Stotts is now a new assistant for Milwaukee. Mm-hmm. He was a head coach for 12 years for Portland. So once you've lost that kind of leading, uh, it happened to Tyron Lou. Tyron Lou became an assistant again for Doc Rivers. Uh, once you become kind of that head guy, you lose a lot. You go back to the rotation. You got to start all over. That sucks, though. It's terrible. I mean, head coaching, we really didn't get into it. But, like, head coaching overall in the NBA is a terrible job. And that's why I feel like a lot of our superstars, <clears throat> like they said, a lot of our superstars are not fulfilling their full potentials because they don't have those type of coaches no more. I think they don't they don't respect coaching altogether. Um, a lot of these just, guys come into just, it like, I wish a, I wish a would tell me what to do. Just think of it like this: think of think of like Giannis had a coach like Phil Jackson. That how ha- much more you think he would have developed, knowing that he went from Michael Jordan to Kobe Bryant to now I got Giannis on the Kumbo. I mean that's true, but. Just think of how how him knowing 
Because Mike is one of the biggest ass you can probably have as a coach, right? Think about it. Yes and no. Come on, man. Everybody if, know that. Come on. I man, know, don't say yes I know no. that, but I'm saying, like, if anything, Phil Jackson got Mike to buy in. So if he can so, get Mike to buy in. Yes. What a, what, arguably. But who? The one of the worst teammates. But the, <laughs> but the thing about the thing about that is this to me. To me, the thing about that is this. When you talk about that, you talk about it goes even deeper because we have two coaches in NBA finals right now and Mike Malone and Eric Spolstra, where the ownership was like and the GM was like, you know what? I'm going to stick it through with this coach. You can't, because Eric Strostra, to be honest, should have got whatever name was. He should have got fired like a while ago. But Pat why? Rogers, Pat Rogers was like, no, this is my guy. Why? What do you mean, why? Why should he been fired a long time ago? Suck. Miami has made the playoffs literally every season under Eric Spolstra. They won Almost four titles under Eric Spolstra. Why should he have been fired? Okay, number one, the titles with LeBron James don't count. I can win the title with LeBron James. You can win the no, title with LeBron. Yes, you can. Yes, What's I can. He ain't did it. Who? Who's our coach now? Darvin Ham didn't do it. Darvin Ham didn't do it. This is an old LeBron. Talk no, 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 no. David we Black talk, didn't do we it. We're talking about prime LeBron. David Black didn't yes, do it. Yes, he did. Luke David Walt Black did, did yes, not he do it. it. No, Walt. he did not. Luke Walton did. You want to bet that one? Oh, I'll bet that one. For I'll what? put money on the table. You want to bet that right. one? I'm not going to put no money on the table. Okay, because you know you're wrong. So you can snatch your wallet. So you're gonna snatch your so wallet? You're, you're Mike wrong. Brown didn't he get one either. Five, he got, Mike Brown did not get one either. No, Mike Brown didn't, but that, that coach did. David, he, he Black, got fired no, a not. year after. Tyron he did Lue not. Won it. Tyron Lue won it. Oh, because he got fired in the middle the four, season. The four coaches that coached LeBron, Tyron Lue got one. All right. Eric Spostra got two. Uh huh. And um. Oh, uh, who's the guy that closed? Frank, Fol Frank, Frank Vogel, Frank Vogel Frank got it in the bubble. Yeah, so that's three, right? That's four. That's four. That's okay. four. Eric Spostra is the epitome of the grow your own culture. He started in Miami. That as a culture, that culture is Pat Riley. No, the yes, culture is the, the culture is Pat Riley. The hey, culture is loyalty. Did y'all watch? Yes, this? Pat did, Riley. Did y'all watch the Greg Popovich? Y'all got to watch the Gill Show. Sure. What did uh, that come on? What is it? It's on YouTube. YouTube okay. it. Okay. Um, Daryl Wright was talking about the Miami Heat culture. Oh. They got it down to like you can only have a certain amount of body fat, or you get fined by the team, yeah. or you don't get in the rotation. Yeah, my Jimmy Butler was like they run, they do have a, a they run a military style kind of thing where like every I don't care how much money you make, you run it. If you yeah. want y'all to run, we run it. Jimmy and Jimmy Jimmy thrives in that. So Jimmy when you talk about culture. And you talk about coaching, and that's what kind of irritates me about Jimmy's this. Jimmy's a hard worker, so Jimmy is a hard worker. That's what he's looking for. Yeah. So, but I'm, what I'm saying is, everybody can't thrive in that. And my thing about the whole culture and the whole coaching situation is, yo, the person behind you has to be like, you know what? I like you. I'm gonna stick with you, no matter what the situation is. And that's what he that's what he was. So as far as Miami building a culture, that culture starts with Pat Riley so, and it trickles down. So, it's not Eric Spolstra developing the culture. You know bull, who, can, who you know who bull, can, you know who can say bull, I develop a culture here? It's uh is is Pop. Pop can say I developed a culture here. That's crap. How that, that is crap because if Eric Spolstra lost and Miami would have lost to the Bucks in the first round, y'all would have been calling for his head. No, y'all wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He's an eighth seed. He barely got in. Why would I call for his head? Meaning he's out of here. He got swept in the playoffs before. Did he or did he not? He did. The Bucs swept him. Okay. The year he got, the title. And then he got beat in the, in the But the year before that, he was in the finals. In the no, he was. He was in the bubble. In the bubble, that's the last thing they made. He the was finals. in the finals. And what happened? Got swept. And what happened in the finals? They lost to the Lakers. Four one. Four one. Four and one. That's so okay. he, but my they point beat the is, twice like that, though. That's okay. This so my point of, is. Since, Other coaches have been getting fired but for the, that type but of since record. the bubble, we got beat twice by Miami like we got beat this year. Yes. What yes. Yes, we have. 4-1. Oh, yeah. 4-1. So – Both times in the last three years. So, yeah. let the, what I'm saying to you – I'm saying the thing they have argue, Miami, though. Argument Jones, what I'm saying to you – Spostra put in work. Is Spostra put in work. And here's the thing. I don't believe you put in they work. They keep – Haslam has been around – as long as he has, because of two reasons. He's the enforcer on that team, like the sergeant at arms, mm -hmm. and because of loyalty. The Miami Heat would have gave LeBron James the keys to the kingdom. Heck, they did. 
that Wayne Wade took a a, a, bat, a Robin approach mm -hmm. for LeBron, but LeBron felt the need to make things right in Cleveland. I'm glad he did. Eric Spostra, Greg Popovich, Mike Malone are the last of a dying breed. Those guys will be a part of those organizations for as long as they want. Mm -hmm. Another one is Brad Stevens. Although he it's trash that he got promoted, they are they are loyal to Brad. Dude is the only coach that had a losing season that got promoted. What does that have to do? What does that have to do with what I'm saying? It has to do with it because players trust their coaches. Superstars get coaches fired. Not GMs. Believe the hype if you want to. Well, I know superstars okay. get coaches. Bud right. ain't there because of Giannis. Okay. David Black wasn't there because of LeBron. Okay. Okay. I believe that. Phil Jackson stayed as long as he did because of Michael. Okay. The whole Chicago Bulls dynasty was destroyed because uh, the, the late Jerry Krause did not want to commit to Phil Jackson. Mm. You commit to Phil Jackson, you got Michael Jordan and Pippen possibly for another three peat run. Or that's what I'm saying. Or, well, I think, well, first of all, every situation is different. And Chicago's situation is different. My thing is, I don't want to get, I'm not, I still can't sit here and give all the credit. To Eric Spolstra. I'm not saying give him is. all the credit. I'm saying give him his flowers. Eric Spolstra is the definition of a good coach. He's a, the he's reason a, we beat. He's a decent coach. The reason Miami he's beat the Bucks coach. is because of coaching. I don't know. That's okay. not true. That's not true. Dude, Bud was out coached. Casey was Bud out coached or not? I don't think that's. I don't think that's true. I th I don't think that's was true. Bud out coached or not? Bud was out coached. Yeah, that's serious. Yes. Bud was out coached. I don't think that's. I don't I, think that's. We've seen it live and in person twice. I, I, I know, Bud I know, was not in the game at that time, and he his, got out coached. That's, his his, that's the bottom not line. only, not only was his head not in the game, players were not game in the game either. That's because they quit on their coach. And my thing is, like Miami in this run has been, we wanted more, but I don't, and think, we gonna we gonna play like we wanted. I more. don't think the players gave up. I think it was more of. I think in Philadelphia they gave he up. He like Doc Rivers should have got fired. He didn't give up rotations. He didn't. He didn't do the right rotations. Players were put in positions where they wasn't successful. It's the coach's job to put your team in positions where they're going to be successful. And, my, and and Bud didn't do that. But my, and, they'll finish. He's been the quiet ahead. one for a change. Especially, like even with the um, Jay Crowder situation, how he played seven minutes in two games. When you trade half the team for him. You, you know what I mean? My thing you is. You traded all it is for him to come in and play that P.J. Tucker role, and you don't even use him that way. Poor he sat coaching. on the bench. That's bad coaching. I want to say, I, I don't want to sit here and say all of this is on, but. And you finished and the game with, with, with three, time, three of three timeouts. Yes, there were some bad decision making. And you let Grayson Allen take the last shot with Middleton Holiday on the floor. Well, we it's see. poor coaching. I mean, my thing is this. I, I believe, I always believe it's 50 50. Coach can draw it up how he wants to. 60 40, if you ask me. It's To me, it's 50 50. Coach can draw it up how he wants to, but it's up to the player to, um, to uh, put it in motion. So, as far as like Jimmy Butler, I got my best defensive player on this guy. He giving him buckets. I don't know what else to do. Now, do I believe. That Bud made bad decisions. Yes, I do. Made Bud made bad decisions. You got three timeouts. You got six minutes to go. You you not call a one. You just watching it go by. That's what got the coach fired before him. So I I get that part. Was it Jason Kidd? I mean, Jamie might have been Jason Kidd. I think it was oh, Jason Kidd. Five years ago, it was Jason Kidd. It was Jason Kidd. Are we sure? Uh, yeah, it was Jason what? Kidd. Who was the coach before Bud? It was Jason Kidd. No. No. Oh no! It wasn't Jason Kidd. It was it was. Dang! I forgot. Now I want to know. Um. Oh but, no! Scott Skiles was a minute ago. No, it wasn't. Him. Um. But no, uh, it was uh. Let's see. What's the dude named the black coach? Wasn't it? Wasn't it a black coach? Dude from uh uh the tr Larry Drew. No. No. Here, man, we got McMillan. Go what? No, we didn't have McMillan, did we? It was Jason Kidd. It was Jason Kidd, and then they had Joe Prunty halfway through the season. They fired Jason Kidd. Okay, in the middle of the season. In the middle of the season. Okay. Dang, so Bud has been here five years. Dang. It's been a minute. Um, 
Monty Williams and the Detroit Pistons have breached a six-year, $78.5 million deal to be the next head coach. Let's clap just for the money. I just want to clap for the money. Right, I, you know what? I'm going to clap for the money. It's right now in this um, The deal could... The deal could reach $100 million in incentives. This is the largest This is the largest coaching deal in NBA history. He is making more money than any player on the Detroit Pistons uh, roster. What do we think about this? I'm going to let Kesey go, but the one line I want to say before my brother goes, that's a lot of pressure, Doc. I'm happy he got his money, but that's a lot of pressure. Kesey? My thing is he turned it down. And it was like he turned it down initially. He yeah, didn't turn down saying. this contract. No, I know he didn't turn it. it was, I'm saying he the first time going around, he was like, "Nah, I'm good." Yeah. And they was like, "Well, we got the bag." He was yeah. Like, how much? Yeah. Go ahead, Keith. I just don't understand how. <laughs> how what? <laughs> or why? Why? <laughs> what you mean why? It's, it's been it's been known for coaches to make three to four million dollars a year, maybe five to seven if mm-hmm. you're really good. But to go in the category that they're going in. Well, first of all, you're basically saying they're trying to shift the power back over to the coaches and out of the players with that move. Have you seen their roster? Is that a statement that they're trying to make to their players? That's my thing. I think like I, I'm I, paying him this, so you better listen. I feel like they're paying him this amount of money because number one, they're desperate. Number two, they're trying to turn the franchise around. I will say Monty Williams is a voice that players do um, come into. And on top of him, but this, but, he turned around the Phoenix, that Phoenix Suns organization. But listen, though, he turned, dude, he turned it around. The deal is six years, $78 million. Guaranteed. That, that's guaranteed. That guaranteed. Could, that could also reach up to $100 million in incentives mm-hmm. and up to eight ex, and up to two extra years. Mm-hmm. Thirteen, it's extra thirteen, thirteen a year. So, so what it tells me is that Detroit, they're invested in him. But here's the thing: you would think the man is Phil Jackson or Steve Kerr and a proven winner. Is he? Is he not? I don't see no rings on them fingers. Don't remember they got the gentleman sweep from the Bucks. And they got the gentleman sweep from the Bucks. And they what? Got, and after he went to the locker room, with second, to me, to me, this is more on Phoenix than it is them. And then he went to the Western Conference Finals this year. See, here's the thing. To me, this is on Phoenix more than them because Phoenix, he took them from cool to entertaining to a contender, and as all as a coach, that's all you as an organization, that's all you can ask for. Now, us, we as fans, I want a championship. I won a championship. Now, here's the thing. If I'm going to choose over Monty or De- De- DeAndre Ayton, I'm choosing Monty. They chose the latter. They went, they, we, we choose an Ayton. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I think he's going to bite y'all in the butt later, but I think they're cool. going to trade him. I they probably still is going to trade he's him. Dallas bound. But, but, but to your point, Monty Williams turned the franchise around, but we play basketball to win titles. And for you to shell out that kind of money on Monty, you have now set a dangerous precedence in the NBA. For other coaches? Oh, man. You think so? I don't, what? Think, I don't think no other coach worth that. So, Monty Williams is getting 13. Mm-hmm. Greg Popovich is getting, a, is getting 11 and a half. He quit. He retired. No, he did not. He just <laughs> got the number one draft pick that everybody. No, he was. retired. Greg Popovich did not retire. Come on, Zeke. That's two bad stats in the same podcast. Stop it. The San Antonio Spurs coach did not retire. Okay. Yeah. Steph, Steve because Kerr. He better pray to Jesus. You're right. Steve Kerr, $9.5 million a year. Mm-hmm. Eric Spostra, 8.5. Rick Carlisle, 7.5. And Bud was making seven or nine million dollars as well. So I'm happy that Monty Williams got his bag, but that is some serious pressure, Doc. Uh, you would think Monty Williams is coming with the triangle offense, Michael Jordan, Jesus Christ, Steph Curry, LeBron James, and everyone else. So what I will say is Detroit is a young core of talent. Uh, Monty is known to, to, as you said, to allow players to buy, to help players buy into his philosophy. But Detroit not moving nothing in the East. And Monty and that $12 million, Detroit going to regret that because by year three, if they don't make the playoffs or have a deep run, they're going to be calling for his head, and you're going to owe that man nearly $100 million. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, so you think Detroit's going to get turned around? I think they are. So he is retired, but 
That's just the rumors that always happen every year. The older he gets, yeah, yeah. he is not retired. He's gonna coach this new dude into be the next Tim Duncan. That oh people, man, people please. hope. People hope. I'm not saying, and I ain't seen the man play. I'll see him in summer league next month. But he, he's they're banking on Greg Pop to bring the Spurs another title within the next three to four years. Did they, did they overpay him, Monty? Yes. I don't think so. Yes, I don't think so. If I'm Pop, I'm saying, man, trade him. And get me two superstars right now. Yeah, that's true too. That's what I would do. I want to finish my career with two superstars. I don't want to do this all over again. He said he do. This is a five year process. Yeah. To get him where he needs to be is five years. Well, Tim Duncan won rookie of the year and the title. His rookie year. Man, Tim Duncan. He's was not ready. Tim Duncan. I didn't say he was. He don't even Tim. got the body frame of Tim. I didn't say he was. I'm just saying pop coaches, players. And pop. we don't even we don't even know if he got the heart of, of Tim Duncan yet. Well, Tim Duncan's going to be his coach. Uh, position coach. Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, they're all coming together to coach and train him. He ain't got nothing coming. Um, Are you sure? Yes. On the My, 4th of June in 2022, you're saying that. 23? Whatever. You're saying that this new guy, what's his name? Exactly. The, it's just hard to remember his name because it's long. I don't know. It's, it's but something. you're saying the future number one pick of the NBA. We got to get this on. Uh, let's get his no, name. First right. of all, we're not doing this. Let's get his name. Oh, I'm doing this. What you doing this for? I mean, you you still haven't paid. We still haven't seen a Laker hat. Man, I think I swept. Um, wow. So my thing is no, no, no. Answer the question. I'm not taking Monty anything. Was, but still answer further the than question. State if my will be on pay. Victor Wambayama Win Ban Yama. Victor Wynn Banyama, you're saying that he's going to be a bust. I didn't say he's going to be a bust. But you're saying he's not going to live up to the only thing I can keep seeing. Only, <clears throat> I'm not be honest with you. Only thing I keep thinking about when I see him every time I watch him play. Don't tell me. They, they, they're, they're they're nice looking. He reminds me of Chet Holgram. Of who? Chet. Chet. Chet Holgram. Okay. Over in OKC. Okay. The rookie who has not played a game yet because he ran into LeBron James in the Drew League. <laughs> not that he fell on him. He ran into him, and he has not played a game since. I mean, my thing is this: when you it's like run into the wall. My bro. thing is this: and we're probably getting into this in our Dude, off-season episode. About, he's 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 these, very thin. These af- these athletes in the league he's, are strong and are very muscular. Yeah. He's thin. He thin. Yeah. He real. And I mean, fragile. He, so he, and we're gonna. I want to. I'm gonna get really. I really want to get into this next week, and we will. The the landscape of the NBA. The landscape of the NBA right now is if you tall and you can shoot threes, you the next big thing. And my thing is that has yet to pan out. It's working for Joker. It's working for Joker, but Joker had the number one put in time. Number Not that much time. How When did he get drafted? Not that much time. When did he get drafted? Not that much time. Bro. Like five, like 2018, and and something like that? Keep in mind, he was a low draft pick. He, he, be, he was very in, low in draft pick. Round. And everything about him has still been the same. He just has bulked up. He still can't jump. Joker got drafted in 2014. In 2014. So Second nine years. Pick. So but, nine but Joker's years. been good for like the last five. No, he's been Joker for the last three. If no, I'm, he's been dominant. I'm telling the last you right now. If I'm, so the, my, if I'm the Spurs, dominant. I'm telling you right now. Like you said, I'm I'm, I'm, try, I'm with you. Give me two superstars and trade them in a draft pick, and you can have him. So why not own the future in the words of the Bucks? Why not work with him and let him grow and develop? Because the, the history of the NBA with these guys and this body type does not pan they out. Do, well. They do not last a long time. They don't pan out well. Greg so, Oden. But y'all don't y'all don't think he can use Greg Oden to bulk up? Uh, Chris Porzingis. Um they have a couple I'm good years, but after that, once they get that first injury, it's hard for them to come back. And they keep on piling on too. Yeah. I'm telling you right now, if I'm if I'm the GM over at, in San Antonio, I'd rather take a gamble on LeBron James and uh Anthony Davidson trade him. Well, let's not get crazy. So uh but real quick, Monty Ronnie Williams did he get overpaid? Real, yeah. We said that, PC. huh? Overpaid, Monty Williams. Oh well, well overpaid. Way overpaid. Yeah, I could have seen overpaid. six. I could have seen fifty-five. My thing 50. is this: if you're gonna send me to Detroit, you are gonna pay me. Oh, you are gonna pay me? Don't nobody want to live in Detroit. Don't though. nobody want to live in Detroit. Living nobody in, wants to coach in Detroit. The, oh, you are gonna pay me? Living but in the, Detroit, but also not terrible. It's them outskirts. You know what I'm saying? It's but you gotta, rem- but you gotta remember, <laughs> he coming from Arizona, Arizona, where it's hot year round, and he used to winning. 
So yeah. if you, I'm gonna, if I'm gonna come in here, y'all gonna pay me. They yeah. can't. They, they they probably came around that first. And I was like, hey, Bob, how about fifty two? How about no? And then they was like, all right, we got seventy eight. He's like, all right. No, nah. nah. it's probably this for unemployment. Nah, he probably came in. First of all, Dre, what? if you was mine, you to turn you, how much? They probably, yeah, came, yeah, yeah. Oh, they probably, the they probably came in at seventy. And then Monty was like, I'm, I'm, I need, I need eighty. I'm and they was like, all right, well then we'll give you seventy eight point five, and then we'll give you some incentive. He, then he was like, what if I make the playoffs? Oh, we'll throw some there, some in there. What, well, if I, what if I win an Eastern Conference? He's like, we'll throw some more in there. Well, He's that's like, how well, coaches. Come on. Well, that's how coaches and players do it. Or that's how players do it. That's why they're always gunning for all first team, all second team, right, all third team. Yeah. You know, John Morant lost what almost forty million dollars because of his uh, little little baby gun. So coaches should also be able to build in incentives in their contracts. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Yep. I'm not, uh, I'm not of, mad at the incentives. I'm mad at the number. The number That's a lot of money. That's a lot of guaranteed money. For an unproven coach. Just say it. How is he unproven? He has not won the title. So you mean to tell me just because you want, haven't won a title, you are unproven? And also, you got to remember, there's no one of the caliber of Devin Booker on that roster, or Chris Paul, or Kevin Durant. Uh, right. You got because he he was. You, you, see, got you talked about Phoenix Cunningham. You talked about none of them Phoenix. have the caliber of he, three. He's coming. He's up and coming. No, he got a long ways to go. I watched him play. He's up and coming. Long way to go. Low, 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 low way to go. Okay. Speaking of the Phoenix Suns, uh, Frank Vogel is in turn is in. Uh, <laughs> He is has reached a long term agreement to be the next head coach. What are our thoughts of on who? That? Phoenix. Phoenix Suns. They hired Frank Vogel. Mm-hmm. He won a championship in the bubble. 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 What that mean? In the bubble. Does it not? Does it? Is it not on the stat list? I am a champion. So are the Admirals in 2020 during the pandemic when they canceled the season. Yeah, they are. <laughs> so I am surprised. Let me just say this. This is KD's fourth coach in four years. It is. It's not his fault. How is it his fault? I didn't even say anything. I didn't say anything. Is it his fault? You you made up. Sometimes coaches aren't the problem. Sometimes it's the players. Is KD coachable? Is my I really, question. I really hope he is I a, really hope he comes back to Golden State. And if he does, what is gonna be your reaction? But continue. Oh, I'm gonna hate it. I'm gonna you? hate it. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. I'm gonna hate it. Not enough. I hated it when when he was not before. enough. Uh Frank Vogel is if he coached LeBron to a title, he coached Anthony Davis. I think we can say he's a star. <laughs> Now you talk about me. Look at his face. I think we can say that Frank Vogel is a superstar coach. He might be good for KD, but KD is no LeBron. But you got to remember that's Facts. a toxic situation over there. I that, how every anywhere KD go is toxic. Anywhere he you got to remember you got anywhere K, he goes. Not to mention the the Aiton situation, Aiden the Chris Paul situation, the Chris, Chris Paul, Paul situation. Chris Paul so both situation. of them is probably on their way out the door. Chris Paul Devin Booker is, is is halfway out the door. No, you think so? They all, everybody is all except for KD almost. So KD for the end up in another situation <laughs> where everybody gonna leave him. How toxic would that be for Vogel to have to come in and deal with that? That's the only reason that you would sign him, I would think. Besides if you Lakers Phoenix. Season. Besides, there's some other coaches you can go with besides Vogel. Who? Vogel looked like the fall guy for everything that's about to happen over e- there. Everything. He was the fall guy in L.A. I give you a title and you let me go to the next year. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. That's fine. Wow. That's fine. On, but we those. gave him two years and he blew it both years. At least we gave him two. Right, two right. times. Frank Vogel, I do not think that's going to be a good fit. Because K- nah, KD needs coaches that are I think tough. That. Steve Kerr was a tough. Oh man, please! No, Steve Kerr was Steve, not a punk. Steve Kerr is coasting off the the cape <laughs> of Steph Curry. Let's so cut Steve, the crap Steve here. Steve Kerr is today's Phil Jackson, right? He, he what? Had, meaning he had? Oh, you talking about old Phil? Any listen? You talking about love, old? You talking about old Phil? Field. Jackson. You talking about old Phil? Anybody that didn't get up? Anybody could have coached Jordan and Pippen. 
to the title. Okay. That's okay. what I'm saying about Steve. Brown. Okay. That's You're what I'm right. saying. You're I right. mean, people don't respect it's it's hard to say that. And here's why I'm gonna disagree with myself. Because until Phil came, Michael didn't win. Until Phil came, the Lakers didn't win. That's okay. Until Steve Kerr came, the Warriors didn't win. Is it is it false? Prove it. It's not false. Is it false, Casey? I'm gonna let you run. Because a lot, you know what it is now. A lot of the coaches don't even got no real schemes, so it's just like they playing motion basketball. And so Frank Vogel, that's what the league is is now. Frank Frank Vogel is that that was a commercial. I'm sorry, Frank Vogel. <laughs> stop stop making noise. I'm sorry, go ahead. Frank Vogel, man, it's gonna be all in the box. You be talking to us. I can't do paper. <laughs> oh, you're right. Don't he, bro? You slurping your gum too hard. <laughs> Really? That's what we do it. You shaking the table, Casey. <laughs> Andre, don't slap the table again. First of all, ain't my fault. He's gonna break it. <laughs> uh Frank Vogel, I don't think he's a terrible coach, but KD, man, I don't know that he's that special coach that KD. I think is. KD can be coached. I think it's everybody around KD. KD picks bad situations. Yeah, he he does. picks really bad situations. Yeah, he does. To be really honest with you, he should have stayed in Brooklyn. Should stay in Golden State. I hated it, but if he wanted to just ride out his career as a champion, he should have stayed in Golden State. But no, that's again, Dr- that's Draymond Green. On our episode of the Sensitives, we knew that that's Draymond Green fault. It is Draymond Green fault. It is. But Frank Vogel, eh? I don't, I don't too much care for it. Keys, what you think? I thought it was funny. Um, <sighs> but I see what you're saying, Keys. I can see him being. The scapegoat for everything that goes wrong in that organization. Now. That's what I'm seeing. That's all I can see. And that's messed up. If everything's finna hit the fan, like I'm thinking it's finna hit the fan over there in Phoenix, he's the sca- scapegoat. I, Monty got out just in time. I think they have an opportunity though to change things around. If they if they can get a good pick or but if the they can get a big up for Chris Paul, and they can get a good pickup for Aiden. But the the question is, can Vogel get them to buy in to what his what he's finna say? For some oddball reason, he got the Lakers to buy in. Enough to win a championship. Who, Frank Vogel? Yes. Whether Garlis is in the bubble they or won, not. They won that because of LeBron ate LeBron's IQ. Well, of they course. didn't win that because well, every, we are, of Vogel. I, I and said it was, this. Well, it's just like the Bucks. Booten, we didn't win because of Booten, Hoser. We won, we won because. Yeah, we did. No, we didn't. He made adjustments. No, we did He made adjustments. We won because of Giannis. Bro. He made adjustments. Giannis, Giannis saved us. Giannis he made came adjustments. And, Giannis came and saved us and drew Holiday with the steal. He That's made why we won. adjustments. He, he, barely. He made adjustments. So what I'm saying is, how come it's okay for Vogel but not Bud? But what continue, Keith. Continue. What do you mean? LeBron's IQ won that title. Every yeah. every championship that LeBron James has won has never been because of the coach. Let's cut the crap here. <laughs> I've said that many times. Coach LeBron James is easy as. So I'm going to draw it up for y'all. LeBron's going to go here. He's going to pick up the ball. He's going to pick up that pass. Once he pick up that pass, you hit the corner, you hit the corner, clear the lane, somebody behind him. All you got to do is get in your spots and watch LeBron James work. You You know how many times that works, huh? You ever seen Fresh Prince? Just pass it to Will? Yeah. Just pass it to LeBron. Pass it to LeBron. (laughs) And I wish, Coach. Now, back in the day when it was Jordan, they said it. They just, what was the game plan that last play with, with Michael Jordan? Pass Michael, back the damn ball. What, what am I supposed to say here? What, what are we talking about here? We know who the ball is going to. Get LeBron the ball. That's it. What about D Wade? What about D Wade? He was a part of that championship. He's a killer too. What about he you? Put part- in that work. He yeah, yeah. But who are we all focused on? It's always LeBron. He's the name power. Who are you talking about? He's the money. Yeah, uh, Chris Bosh was there too. What that mean? We focus on LeBron. Who's LeBron going to pass the ball to? Is LeBron going to take it to the rack? Actually, the one A had the ball in his hand at the end of the game. And who did he give it pass. to? Yeah, give it after to? they double teamed him. Nah, they gave it to LeBron. He gave it to LeBron. He knew it was up. No. D Wade said it. I knew it was up. I knew D Wade, though, he was the closer and LeBron was to run the whole game. Oh, man. Come on, Come man. Come on, man. Don't be that guy. Everybody know Dwayne Wade was the closer. Well, last week, uh, was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Last week, the Miami Heat beat down. The Boston Celtics 103 to 84 in a game seven of the Eastern Conference Finals. After the game, Charles Barkley said the Boston Celtics play bad basketball. They are so undisciplined and un unfundamentally sound. They win games strictly on talent. What are you guys' thoughts? 
I think he's spot on. Charles Barkley said the Boston Celtics play bad basketball. They also so undisciplined and unfortunately sound. They win games strictly on talent. I think he's right on point. I agree. I think he is 100% on point. And I think it ran out when they ran across a good coach like Spolstrom. Oh, my God. Here we go. It's true. It's not. I feel it. It's true. It's not. It's true. The only reason they won those games to get back in the series is because Miami was dog tired. It was dog tired. They was playing like so they were playing the guys, the same guys, the same seven guys played all game. And on top of that, they really should have lost game six. Who? Boston. Yeah. So, like, my, my thing is Miami was – Miami, and I think Jimmy Butler knew, I'm not scared of these guys. I'm not scared of these guys. I'm not worried about these guys. Even when they was up 3-0, 3-1, 3-2, 3-3, three, three, it was like, I'm not worried about these guys. The fact that y'all, they blew them out the water at home in a game seven is crazy. Now, I can see if y'all lost by like two at the buzzer, whatever the case may be. That means y'all even fight. And, you know, people want to put out there that um, Jason Tatum sprained his ankle in the first quarter. I don't want to hear that crap. I don't want to hear about Robert. Robert Williams throwing up and being – I don't hear that crap. This is a game seven. Chuck it up. Swallow your throw up and keep it moving. Really? You twist your ankle, you tape it up, you keep it moving because this is game seven. This is the, – these people, especially these light-skinned folks, coming with this mamba mentality pisses me off because it's disrespectful to Kobe. Kobe played with broken hands, broken fingers, sprained ankle, torn Achilles – he he played with the injuries, like he was a dog. But you know what it is, though. And, it, and for you to see here to most some mama mentality, uh, uh, what is it? Apologetically, the best player in the world, whatever shirt he was wearing. Oh, humbly, the best player in the world. I'm like, dude, shut up. You can't talk crazy when you first of all you was down three nothing to an AFC. Then you lose. Get now. You not only did you lose, you got blew out at home. Game seven, blew out. So, my question to you guys, is Boston bench as deep as they said it was? Of course it isn't. I go back once again. Remember we, how we said that? Mm-hmm. Our, our, our bench is deep, too. I, I go back, right. Not to me. but we. So, do you blame coaching in that situation? It's 100% coaching. This situation? I blame coaching. 100% coaching. coaching. I honestly blame coaching. The Boston Celtics beat the Milwaukee Bucks by 40 points a week before the playoffs began. The Boston Celtics breezed through the playoffs, but they didn't play nobody. I don't think they breezed through the playoffs. They played Philly. I don't think they breezed through the playoffs. I think Eh. uh, Atlanta Atlanta took them to six. 4-2. 4-2. Philly took them to six. Four t- okay, I'll give you that. But what I'm saying is they didn't have to work as hard as they did in the conference finals against the eighth seed. Miami, yes. the Miami Heat, again, coaching matters. Jimmy Butler is on another planet, arguably the best playoff basketball player of his era. Mm-hmm. The Boston Celtics, it all came down to coaching because think about it. It didn't come down to coaching. I'm going to tell you what it boiled down to. Are you as good as shooters as y'all led people to believe all season? And Spolstra exposed them. Let's see if y'all going to beat us in the series oh, shoot man. like that. Jalen Brown shoot. was terrible. Let's see if y'all are going to beat us in the series shoot all them threes like y'all normally do. Yeah. And yeah. they were exposed. Tatum jumper ain't as, as, as lethal as they thought it was. I, Brown jumper ain't as lethal as they thought it was. Marcus Smart ain't as lethal as they thought it was. I'll tell you this, man. The best player on that series on that team to me was Derek White. Derek White. All series. And, and I'll tell you this. What what it did for me, though, uh, to, to Chuck is not 100 percent wrong, but we need to stop crowning everybody superstars just because they have a good game. Are you are you are you taking away the title of super label of superstar on Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown? Uh, I never called Jalen Brown a superstar. Mm-hmm. Never ever have I. He's a star. Jason Tatum. He's a star. He's not a superstar. Superstars get it done. Casey. Superstars get it done. They get it done. That's facts. That's two years in a row. Yeah. If they'd have made it to the to, three years in a no. row. Three years in a row. Is it three? Because no. four years in a row, thank you. Because they lost uh last year when they should have won it. Remember, everybody picked them to beat 
the Warriors. Uh, I didn't the pick year them. before that, I, I wanted them. The year before that, them. they didn't get it done, and they beat the heck out the Bucks. Remember, they beat the heck out of us. Didn't get it done. And the year we before took that, seven. we took them to seven. Right, and, and without and Middleton, without Middleton, without Middleton. So we are overly critical if LeBron miss a free throw in a regular season game. Nah, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. They're not even talking about Boston right yeah. now and Tatum and them like yeah. that. So but if that was yeah. LeBron. But if that was LeBron and them, so yeah. No, number one, I blame you for this. Nope. Well, no, oh, because this, this is real. Because they, they're giving him the same title, right? He's a superstar like LeBron, right? Let's hop on his heels. Because they were hop, they hop, they show hopped on Giannis heels. Tell me, tell me, oh, tell me. Tell they me. hopped on Giannis heels, if you especially think, after he got on TV and said the season wasn't a failure. Yeah. Yes, it was. If, okay. If you think, yeah, it was. If you think they didn't hop on. Jalen Brown. They did not. And Jason Tatum, but not you got another thing. Yeah, they did. No, they no, did. Nowhere yeah, they near. Did. Yes, they did. Not nowhere bad. near. Yes, they not did. Yes, they did. Nowhere near. What are you talking about? All week there's been talk of do you break the duo up? You better. Do you pay Jalen Brown? No, you don't. Do you let only, him go. They only talking do about it. the money. That's it. That's it. I know. They're do not they... talking about the game that they played and how horrible they looked. Yes. Oh, yeah. And, and, how, and how overrated they were. They're not. Oh, like you talking about who gonna get paid and who ain't. That's, That's yeah. what they're talking about. Yeah, who will get paid and who ain't, but also talking about Tell him the Keith. king ain't the king. <laughs> Tell him, Case. Get him. Giannis ain't a superstar like they get thought. Him. And all you got to do is pack the paint to beat Giannis. Yes. That's all they kept saying That's over it. and over and over and over. They figured out Giannis. They figured out his game. But they Miami, shut him down. But Miami did the exact same thing they do to Giannis, to Tatum and Brown, and they looked horrible. And they're supposed to be jump shooters. Right. Right. So. What I'm saying is, like, on, the Bucks have to earn our trust back at being a championship team. Bucks aren't a championship team. They, they, have to, they have to earn that. Jason Tatum, you need to earn that superstardom, bro, because you're not. One of them got to go. get it done. They're not worth the money that they're getting paid. We're talking about half a billion dollars for two players who got shut out, not just in game six and seven, but arguably the series. Okay, game four loss was a fluke, right? Miami was tired. Game five, eh. Game six, they got, what, what do y'all say? Casey's favorite line? Barbie even the chicken? dogs, even the, the sun, sun shines. shines on the dog ass sometimes. That's mm -hmm. what it did for Boston. Mm -hmm. And because we, well, I think we watched it together. We, we were at, it. at Major Gooseby, yeah. and we all were like, that didn't go in. It was like, like what did the Bucks say? But who, Half but a the, pinky toe? But who saved them, though? Uh, um, Derek um, White. Um, Derek White. Derek White. Derek White. He was the savior. All but the thing them. about the thing about it is, and this is matter of fact, he was the he was the savior for them all playoffs. If you really look at it, yeah. But my thing about it Jason is, Jason Tatum had numbers. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. He, he had, had numbers. He had numbers, but they not fourteen and eleven in your final game. They weren't um <laughs> if not fourteen numbers. points in your final game. Are you a superstar? They they weren't efficient. Scooby, if you're listening, we don't apologize. You know, Scooby. Maybe. Shout out, Scoobs. If you're listening, we don't I'm all on your boys' heel, Scoop. For how bad your favorite team is. My my thing is, hmm. my thing is, um, <laughs> my thing is that uh, I I agree with everything y'all saying here because superstars do show up. Um, my and I do believe that I believe that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown was getting flack. Um. It depends on what you're listening to is how much they flag they were getting. Um, but to me, this whole playoffs, them when they play Miami and Miami did the, the same thing they did to everybody else, like they 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 not I don't care how talented you are, you still have to go out there and play hard. And to me, Boston was coasting off their talent. That's how they beat Philadelphia, but also think Philadelphia quit on their coach. Um, I didn't expect them to beat the Knicks. Not the Knicks. I'm sorry. I didn't expect them. Like the Miami outplayed the Bucks. They out hustled us. They outplayed us. The when Miami came to New York, I didn't expect. I expected Miami to beat New York because I don't, you know, whatever. And um, then you got uh, uh, when they when it came to Boston, they just outplayed them. They really just outplayed them, <laughs> and out hustled and out and wanted it more. And the thing that killed me is because Jason Tatum and Jalen Bryant, if y'all. Take the way if you take it back to talent, you have to look at do y'all want it? Derek White wanted it. You can tell by his energy. You can tell by the way he was hustling. Derek Al, White wanted that contract. Al, Al Harford, <laughs> he wanted it. He was playing. He was out giving out there giving effort, but he owed. Did you hear what he said at the end of his press conference? Who? 
Al Horford. Uh uh-uh, uh, what do you say? This season was a failure because we didn't win the title. Oh, yeah. Of course. I think Giannis is just saving face. But and then you got uh Greg, what's that? Grant Williams? Grant Williams out another guy who wanted who wanted it. You can tell by his effort. And so my thing was my thing has always been Boston is just talented. And so we're looking at that like they're you're very talented. So we looking at we let the other stuff slide and it, it caught up with them finally. So I mean, going back to the questions that's been asked all week, do you break up the duel and do you pay Jaden Brown? Jalen Brown. No. He doesn't get the max? Nope. One of them gotta go. And it ain't gonna be Tatum, so let's see what we can get for Brown. Jesus. You almost have to do a sign and trade for Brown because otherwise the Celtics will lose him for nothing. He they'll be LeBron. Um, because I think Brown wants a max deal. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, the max, he may have to pull a James Harden and go to a sucky team to try to see if they he can, they can pull it off in Boston. I'm actually should they half a billion dollars. Zeke? Yeah. No. Yes. To lose and not win titles. Fine. Fine. If you want to remain the status quo, fine. Pay the man. I pay well, the man. Well, first fine. of all, you don't want to pay nobody. No, that's not true. Away. You won't pay you nobody. Pay Giannis. You don't want to pay. You can nobody. pay Steph. You can pay Joker. You want to pay people. You want to pay people, but you want a lot of incentives in there. If I don't get a title within the first five years, I'm taking away $75 million. $75 million? We still got to pay if, if they don't win, right? <laughs> My season tickets didn't get a discount. They went up still. They went <laughs> up. They did? Yes. And I still ain't made a payment since we lost. Mm-hmm. You're going to make one, though. I'm going to get my stuff, but they're going to they need to sweat this one out. I need to see what we're doing. So, uh, do not, you can't pay both of them. The Tatum Brown experience has do, been tried and it's failed. So, every my question year. is take a nap. who do you get for Brown, though? <laughs> Sign them to a, what do you do? Sign both of them to max deals and then trade Brown to, let's say, maybe. Phoenix. I, say, I mean, not Phoenix. Uh, trade him to uh, Portland. I, I Damian say, Lillard. Take him to the Spurs. What about what about Tatum and Tatum Spurs. Tatum and, Tatum and a Lillard combination? How would that look? There's word on the street about that. Mm, I heard about it. And and I don't know if this is on your docket since we got it a little later, but dang, <laughs> Dave Lillard has listed his Portland home he for is. sale. I don't think that means anything, but I think right. it means a lot because when LeBron put his Cleveland house on sale, everybody knew what time it was. It didn't know what time it was before he put the house on sale. First time he went to Miami, the second time he went to LA. When players put their homes up for sale, it means the door is not. <laughs> He's far. trying to see what the market is like. Yeah, okay. He wants to be a real estate agent now. He's just trying to see what the market looking He's like. So naive. Hey Isaiah, don't don't drink this poison, but. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead saying, and see what the points is. I'm just like. saying he's trying, he's just trying to see what's out there. Yeah, so for, so he can get ready for his next team. So so you, I'm I, well. I guess my question is this: It was uh, I think it was on first take. There was like <laughs> this type of money is made for the number one option. We know what Bo- we know who Boston number one option <laughs> is. Is Jason Tatum? Yep. Does Jalen Brown deserve this type of money? Whether it's from Boston or from somebody else? No. He does not. Easy. He's not a number one option. So he doesn't deserve the number one kind he of He deserves money. a nice check, but not no max deal. Hmm. I like Brown, but not a max deal. Okay, because um, on first take, Mad Dog Russo, these players are better than Jalen Brown. <clears throat> are you for the name of them? Yes. Do you want us to say agree or disagree? Yes. Okay. Kevin Durant. Agree. Kesey. These, These players are better. better than Jalen Brown. Agree. Kevin Durant. Agree. Joel Embiid. Agree. Agree. Steph Curry. Agree. Agree. Jason Tatum. Agree. Agree. Uh, Giannis. Agree. agree. What? Double agree. Who, who is this guy? Booker. He said he's, these guys are better than Jalen Brown. Devin Booker. Booker? Yep. Agree. Uh, I, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going to say this. Partially agree, but Jalen Brown is slightly more consistent. Than who? Booker. Mm. Slightly more. Mm. But 
Devin Booker is a bucket. Would you rather have consistency or a bucket? I'm asking y'all. This, this is y'all. I, I, I'm, I'm going to take Booker over Brown. Okay. Casey. Kawhi. Who did you say? He said oh, agree. Yeah, most definitely I'm taking. Kawhi Leonard. Right now. Right now. I'm sticking with Kawhi. I'm sticking with Kawhi. You're sticking with Kawhi. Because if, if Kawhi can get in the right coaching system and what? play every other game. If he can play 20 games. You don't need him every other game. He won a title for Toronto playing every other game. Easy. Talking right now. Man ain't played a full season. I don't know how long, but continue. But when he's on the court, though, he's better. Did Jalen Brown? Yeah. Okay. Joker. Most definitely. D- three times. Should be three time in a row MVP. Yeah, yeah. Luca. No. No. Oh, y'all so bullish. No, no. I'm taking Jalen Brown over Luca. I'll take I'll take Jalen Brown. <laughs> Luca don't play defense. Luca Luca doesn't play defense. <laughs> Jalen so Brown can lock you up. What? Lock you up where? At a McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> Jalen Brown can play better defense than Luca. He couldn't even get Chick Fil A. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Jalen Brown. Jimmy Butler. I'm gonna go with Jalen Brown, except for playoff Jimmy has been different this year. I'm gonna go with playoff Brown. Jimmy's been dealing, but I'm gonna go with Jalen. I'm Brown. going with Jimmy. Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna go with Jimmy. I'm gonna go with Jimmy. I'm, I'll I'm, take Jimmy over over Jalen any day. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna go with Jalen Brown. S A G. I mean S G A. Shane. 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 Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yeah. I, I'm gonna go with uh Jalen Brown. I'm going with Jalen Brown on that one. Really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Murray. Which one? Jamal. Brown. I'm gonna go with Brown. Or Murray. Really? I'm going with Murray. Murray is having a comeback season. Ask me this question again next year. It might change. So you can't you can't be too high on comeback players because sometimes it's just the momentum and you got to make sure that I don't think body I think it's, I think we just we don't pay it. We just haven't been paying attention. Uh, it's like being good in Sacramento. But I told you. Are you good? I know. I know Murray is good, but Jalen Brown is a different good. Mm. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, Jalen Brown, Jalen Brown. Mm. Okay. Paul George, Jalen Brown. Playoff P is just as bad. Playoff P is just as bad. I'm I going, don't see. Before you answer, I'm going, PC, I'm going with Paul George. I don't see. Maybe. Uh, but you went Kawhi. But you ain't Kawhi. 94 Feet Nation, help me see this. Y'all can text me. <laughs> y- y'all can at me. McDonald's. <laughs> hey, what's up, Sister Sheila? Thank you for being a loyal listener. She's known us since we were kids. Uh, I don't know if y'all remember her from church. Yeah. She's known us since we were kids. Yeah. I don't see the hype in Paul George. What is it? Why does everybody like him? He's just as bad as Jason Tatum. He doesn't finish the playoffs either. He can't win big games either. He is a Robin on every team he goes to. I'm going with Jalen Brown. I'm sorry. I'm going with playoff P. I like playoff P, man. I like playoff P a little bit, too. Uh, Morant. Ja. Which Ja you talking about? On the court or off the court? (laughs) (laughs) But first of all, off the court, he's a shooter, okay? (laughs) (laughs) That's what he's He's on target. Break a black man down day, huh? Um... John Morant is an explosive player, too. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily see great play. John Morant actually reminds me of Derrick Rose. And we saw what that mm-hmm. got Derrick. I'm talking about explosiveness. He's too explosive on his frail body. But I'm going to have to go with John. You got. You can't. You got to go with John. You, you going with John? You got to. Who are you going Better? with? Better. John? Come on, man. Are you crazy? Right are you crazy? You can get a GM to trade for job. I'm gonna ask this question. Guy. I know. I know what he's gonna say. I know what he's gonna say. But I'm gonna, ask, I'm gonna go here first. Uh, LeBron James, right now. We talking about we ain't talking about Miami LeBron. He's talking about 30 year old that was huffing and puffing, got them 38 points or whatever. He almost died on the court. That's what we talking about. Why he almost died on? Uh, the- that's him being facetious because he old. That's an old, a bad old joke. I'm, you should I'm, never make that joke again. Right, I'm gonna say it like this. 38-year-old LeBron took a hobbled Los Angeles Lakers from playing to conference finals to get swept by the best team since the Golden State Warriors, okay? 
LeBron James is better than Jalen Brown. Most and you definitely. know it. To ask that. Golden State will take that deal. I mean, uh, Golden State. Boston will take that deal right now. No <laughs> questions asked. From a- if the Lakers call him right now and say, give me Jalen Brown and I'll give you LeBron James. What do you think, boss? What do you think, boss? Is gonna say? Boss is gonna be like, "What we'll other thing about it?" Because LeBron is pretty old. No, come on, man, you crazy. AD, different positions, but I'm a, I'm a probably take. If you ask me to pick a player, I'm picking Brown over AD on my team. AD's too injured. He doesn't even play enough to even be compared. I'm gonna say, what after is this, <laughs> after this playoffs? I'm gonna say AD. Really? Because when AD plays. He's MVP caliber. Exactly. Every odd number. One, three, five, and seven. You He's know. in there. He's in there. But Jalen Brown just showed he ain't that good either, though. Anthony Edwards. Anthony Edwards. I think Anthony, Anthony Edwards over who? Jalen Brown. No. Not at all. Really? I'm going with Jalen. I'm going Edwards. I'm going Jalen. I like Edwards. I like Edwards, too, but not more than you don't, Brown. You don't, you don't like Edwards. You don't like Edwards. Let me, let me, let me, let me flip this. Would you take Jalen Brown... Or Chris Middleton. I'll take Jalen. Just because he's younger. Kesey, Jalen Brown or Chris Middleton? Just because he's younger. And Jalen's gonna play longer. He's gonna play more games. Middleton? Mm. Really? Middleton? Yeah. Middleton got mid-range and three. A yeah. lock. He did. He still do. Kyrie. This last one. Kyrie. Kyrie. All right, cool. Even the nutcase, even with the BS? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, just checking. Okay, NBA Finals. We've seen game one. Uh, the Denver Nuggets beat uh, Miami Heat. Um, I'm sorry, they beat them. They beat them 104-93. Yep, she's right. It is beyond the Miami Heat's abilities to beat Denver. Perfect segue, Siri. They beat them. They beat them on a uh, Thursday, one hundred four ninety three. What do you got? What did you guys see in the first game? No, I want your prediction. I wanted you to like. What did you, you want see? Predictions, or you want us to see it first? No, we seen game one. You want us to talk like, about? The no, game. I want you to talk about what is your reason for picking the team that you're going to pick. Sure. So, I want to remind everyone that watched game one. Although that score was only eleven points, the game was never close. I want to remind folks that. Joker did not score in the first quarter until like the last 30 seconds. And he didn't even play the fourth quarter, did he? He not, played the fourth not quarter. Not a lot. Yeah, Maybe did. three minutes. When they cut minutes. it, to, when they cut it to 10, they was like they put him back in. I'm gonna tell you like this. Here's my prediction. Uh, the Miami Heat are barbecue chicken. Uh they might get swept. Um these Denver Nuggets, they're a good basketball team. And they're not playing. My only thing is they're a good basketball team. They just got three days off. So mm-hmm. my Miami might come and win tonight. But they won't win another one after this if they win tonight. So, you so a sweep or four one. Yeah, a sweep or four one. So you going? You said uh, so you are you going sweep? I think it's gonna be a sweep, man. You said four one. Four one. I think it's gonna be a sweep. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want it to be a sweep because that just means basketball season ends quicker. But if there is a sweep, our last episode is next week, and we can do a great gift exchange. Um, yes, I'm all about the presents. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were trying to fire you for three years. Get out. Well, count me out because you know I ain't got. I just started a new career. Okay, you know? I'm taking my gifts back. You know what, Dre? No, Dre, I got you. I got you. Hey man, <laughs> the oh, I got you. Oh, you. Oh yeah, <laughs> I got you. You know what? Deals on. Deals on. What are you talking about? I got, I got you. you. As a matter of fact, no. I got you. Deals on. Don't you? What do you mean, on? Deals on. I'm taking my gifts back. I just said I got you. No, I don't trust y'all because then y'all look. If y'all show up in here and give me a hat with some red dog, woo, my gift's going back. It's a gift. First of all. Okay, is that what we're gonna do? I just want okay. I just said I got you. Then we doing this or not. All right, all right, all right, all right. I got you. All right. <laughs> so back to your question, man. Uh the Miami Heat had a good run. Uh I saw I said a told a friend at church today, right before church, we we're talking about basketball. And I made the comparison of how the Denver Nuggets are the new Golden State Warriors. And I made that comparison because, remember, Golden State had a stretch where nobody could stop them because of Steph and KD. Want, Let follow. me just finish. Can I, can I just quick? Right. Sure. Everybody who listens to this podcast, every time he bring up LeBron James 
That's a shot. Every time he bring up Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors, that's a shot. I just, wanna, is, I just need to know. Okay, well, every time Zeke says something wrong, bring up a shot. You'll be drunk by the end of the episode no, for all like, three of us. Man, for all three of us, but no. Never wrong. The Denver Nuggets. How? Are, how? Um, they're, they're proving to be an unstoppable offensive team. Mm. No. You think about it. They could be down by seven and then be up by 20. Mm. Nobody can stop Joker. Joker's the best big man in basketball since Shaquille O'Neal. I ain't going to lie. The Lakers did the best job on him of any team they played. And they still but got the, but, but the only thing that was the problem was they didn't have nobody to guard Murray. Nobody. And I was going to say, Murray is a bucket. Nobody on Miami can stay. But, well, it's been one game. He ran circles around Miami. Granted, Miami just came off a brutal seven-game series, which shouldn't have been. That's on them because he should have swept Boston, too. But if Miami wins a game, they better do it tonight. Otherwise, the Denver Nuggets are going to win the title on their home floor. I think y'all underestimate Miami. I think I think y'all underestimate Miami. Just, Is the Miami Heat better than the Los Angeles Lakers? Yes. I just don't think they ha- – I just don't think they have enough. <laughs> I just don't have I don't think they have enough in them. After all that they've been through, I don't think they have it in them to knock off a team as good as Denver. Agreed. I mean, I, I feel the same way. I just don't think I don't think it's gonna be a clear domination. And if and, and the only reason and only reason I'm saying four two. I'm saying four two. Only reason I say that is because the Lakers are very they they were number one in the league defensively mm-hmm. from all from the trade deadline up to yeah. they got there to the yeah. final to yeah. the Western Conference Finals. Yeah. If they couldn't stop them, I don't see Miami doing it. Yeah. But my, my thing about that is this when because you, they were younger and more athletic than, than Miami. Who was? The Lakers. The Lakers. They was inexperienced. Who? The Lakers. And and Miami's got experience besides oh, yeah. Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Shut up, man. I'll slap your head out that seat. <laughs> That's what that's the, he went from McDonald's to uh first to of Burger all, King. First of all, first of all, what I'm saying is this are these fresh off the boat? Yes, they fresh off the boat. All of them. Fresh but off the you boat. Find another saying of fresh off the boat. What? That they, is a slavery reference. Find a, another uh, saying. That's not a slavery reference. That is an immigrant reference. And just look, think of it like this. They're both terrible. <laughs> if you fresh off the boat, you fresh off the boat. Yeah, you are terrible. <laughs> By the way, that's a, that was a good, really good show. The views and opinions on this podcast do and not say it, say it. And also, you got to remember, every time they beat the Lakers, it was only within five points. What the, why do you keep bringing up the Lakers? I'm because saying because they're a the defensive. Lakers are a better team than the, A better than defensively the sound team to slow them down. Right, look, look. Miami has no. Bam Joker cannot, was given AD buckets. Yeah, he was. Until they put who on them? Who? Hachimura. Hachimura? He was getting on too, though. No, he was not. Yeah, he, was. he was getting hit. I would say this, this is what I say about that. He, 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 helped, he slowed him. He, he slowed him down. He slowed him down. But, but the thing about it is, when you slow, when you slow him down, he's such a great passer. He's not slowing the offense down. Yeah, and he can and he can hit the three. Yeah, he so that's what I'm saying. Have to be in the paint. He, Joker doesn't necessarily have to be in the play. Joker hit some some wild shots. Wild shots. He hit some, some wild shots. Some, come on, man. Them, them them threes. He was falling away. It was wild it's shots. Exactly. I mean, was, and and that's know. when I that's where it goes back to where uh, a lot of commentators say to win a championship, a lot of things gotta go your way. Yeah. And right now, everything is going Denver's way. Yeah. It is. And you and if you want to you can call it what you want, but it's everything is in their favor. They're healthy, they got size, they got shooters, they got passers, they got rebounders. And, and hold up to actually what you're saying before you finish, they have great role players. This one thing about Miami, even though I when don't have you seen Aaron Gordon beat this good. Oh no, he was just open, and he had a small curse. He had a big he had... playoffs. Period. Well, he He's wasn't been contribute a these playoffs. Yeah, well, here's what I'm Porter saying. Porter Jr. Here, here's what I'm saying. Here's... Where'd that come from? Oh, here's what I'm Porter saying. Porter Jr. has been are... good. He's just been injured a lot. They're a number one seed for a reason. Yeah, they're a number one seed for a reason. So when you have a number one seed, the whole point of you having a number one seed is to have a easy path to the NBA Finals. A better path. A better path. Not I say easy. easy. I say easier. The Bucks path show wasn't easy. Yeah, yes, it was. No, it yes, it was. It should have been. Them final three no, weeks, no. we were getting owned by all the good teams. But my thing about that is this. You're a number one seed for a reason to make the easier to the NBA I finals. So Miami, like the Bucks, they should have beat Miami. Yeah. 
Yeah. They would have beat New York, yep. and their biggest challenge should have been Boston. That's it. Boston did what they were supposed to do. My thing about uh, Denver, and I don't take away nothing y'all said about them. I just feel like we're undervaluing Miami Heat. Now, as I like to say, these guys are fresh off the boat. They are also – they had a bad shooting night. They did. I don't think that's going to continue. Keep in mind they have two nights before game seven. And on yeah. top of that, they got Hero coming back. Possibly. Possibly tonight. Possibly, possibly tonight. Game three. Probably game three. Game three. So, my thing is, I don't think – I don't think, think – Hero's think not enough. Helps. I don't think it helps. He's not enough. Who is he going to be able to guard Murray? Because well, Murray is a bucket right now. He is a bucket. He, he, he's He's – and if, if Murray's here. being a bucket right now, Clint Sanders, right? there's, there's Clint nothing. Said. If Murray's being a bucket right now, mm-hmm. there's nothing you can do with them. Mur- as long, if Murray's on, there's nothing you can do with Denver because that allows Joker to be Joker. He's mm-hmm. tapping into his Steph Curry. He can hit from anywhere. Oh and, and, and he has great handles. Murray has been jogging whoever they put on him. That's very true. Unless you put Jimmy on him the whole game. Miami doesn't have a chance. That's true. And Miami small. Miami doesn't have a chance. Um, I say four two. Y'all say you say four zero. You say four one. Maybe four one. Yeah. I'm thinking about a sweep though. Yeah. I, don't think I just don't I, think they have enough power. I think, I think Jimmy. I think Jimmy is due for a forty point. Jimmy don't game. shoot threes though. Jimmy can get He's forty. Lighten up. Jimmy threes. can get forty. But let's not forget how easy it is for Joker to get fifty. Joker sure. numbers are crazy. Even in game one, bro didn't score in the first quarter. He had, his, he had a triple double. He had a triple double. A high triple double. Yeah. The Miami Heat, it was a great run. Denver is about to fire up some fat blunts because, you know, it's legal there. The night they win that title, you ain't going to be able to smell nothing but, but weed. But the other thing, too, I think we have to remember Denver, the altitude plays a factor in how you play, the air quality yeah. and all that. But, uh, Miami should they better win tonight so Denver don't get crowned on their home court. That's embarrassing. I can see them. I can see them not winning tonight and still winning two in Miami. Yeah, but if if Denver doesn't win tonight, they can win Game Five on their home court. I know. I'm saying like if they don't win, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you some stats to show you how hard it is gonna be for Miami to beat them. The Lakers lose them by eight, right? Austin Reeves has 23. LeBron has 26. And Anthony Davis has 40. Yes. How do you think anybody on Miami can put up them numbers and still beat them? Right. That's what my point is. You Read it of, again. Dude, you, one think more of, time. you think I'm trying to bring up these numbers because it's the Say the stats again, please. I, it, Austin Reeves had 23. Yep. Mm-hmm. LeBron had 26. Mm-hmm. Yep. AD had 40. Mm-hmm. 4D. And they still lost. Mm-hmm. Not to mention, uh, Hachimuri has 17 to go with that. Because you talk shit? There's no one on Miami that can give you that those numbers yeah, they besides can. Butler. Yeah, they can. Who? Butler? Uh, Gabriel? Tyrus. This has been another good episode of Honey. <laughs> 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 hey, word on, hey, word on the street was Gabriel should have got that MVP for the Eastern Conference Finals. Not no. Jimmy. No. no. It should have been Martin. No, he should have been. He was the man in that game, but not the whole series. Eh. Eh. No. Uh, with want- Hero, Hero's coming back. That means uh, Martin's coming off the bench. No. Who's better? No, it doesn't. What you mean? You what, you, know, what, no, what you mean it doesn't? Tyler will come off the bench to start. They got to test that hand, bro, to start. Listen. He'll come off the bench. They got to test that Listen. hand, bro. You know what Martin if they come If he plays I mean? tonight, they you come off the bench. You know what Martin had the, the first game against Denver? He had none. Three points. Yeah, he had none. We had one. He played 30 minutes and scored three points. They had a bad shooting night. Everybody had a bad shooting night. It don't matter. Well, here's the thing. Strokes had zero. Yes, here's, I know. Here's the thing. They had a bad shooting night. And Denver only scored 104 points. They didn't even score a lot. Denver usually scores in 120, 130s. Yes. So time will tell, man. I game mean, two the, is tonight. The game went. The, 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 my thing is this: I was gonna watch the whole game. I can watch game two because I, I have regular TV, so I'm excited <laughs> about being able to watch the 20 game. Is, they went from twenty to ten. They brought Joker in. They kind of stretched it out, stuff like that. Miami gonna keep coming, and that's my that that be my thing. Like Miami wants and it, and that's what Denver does too. They don't stop. They don't. They, they don't. They, don't, don't they, stop. Stop. they stop a little bit. 
No, they don't. No. Yeah, they did. Unless they, they did when they took Joker out. That game. They were up about almost Going back 30. to what you talk about the Lakers. But the, game one, I thought the Lakers were going to come but back. But every time win. the Lakers thought they was coming back. Yeah, Denver was like, all right, let's. I, Denver was like, all right, we got to turn it up another let's notch. Let's turn it up another notch. And Miami is no, no, no Miami is not no, no LA. I don't care what you say, how you say it, how you put it. Yeah. The numbers I just read off to you, there's mm-hmm. no three players on Miami that can put those numbers up and the, beat them. Here's the thing. They've been doing it, though. Who? Miami. And they've just been Jimmy. But look who they're doing it against, though. Uh, Boston. A discombobulated Boston. The, the Knicks. Uh, overrated Knicks. And the Bucks. With no, with the oldest bench in the NBA. Martin used to give us buckets in the season. But you know, somebody, somebody always have a career game on us. We know that. It was consecutive, though. That's the thing that we That one me. player always have a good game on us, though. That's true. Always. So, um... Before we get out of here, we always like to have Bucks talk. Um, Terry Stott, like we said earlier, Terry Stotts is the finalizing the deal to join Adrian Griffin's staff of the, on the Milwaukee Bucks. Does this guy you make you feel better, worse, or same about the Bucks coaching decision? Uh, it screams rebuild. Still, yes. I no. think uh, I think Adrian has forty two games, and after forty two games, if we don't like the way we looking, they're gonna put in uh, Terry Stotts. Yeah, yeah. Which I still don't like. I didn't like Terry when he coached when he was our head coach here before. Oh, that's when we sucked up. Yeah. Um, it doesn't make me feel better. Um, worse or same? I don't. I, I'm not happy about this coach. I'm not. Let me not say I'm not happy. I'm not enthused about it. I'm not excited about it. I'm not excited about. I'm not even excited about the Bucks season. Like I said, the Bucks have a lot to prove. We had two years where we just blew it, and adding these coaches, these old coaches that. Ah, Eh, I'll give Terry Stotts this. He is a seasoned veteran coach, which could be helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, plus, you know, Adrian played under Nick Nurse for the championship run. Mm-hmm. So it could be helpful. But I'm not, you know, I'm not losing no sleep. Zeke, we just got Terry Stotts. I'm saying uh, we would have got Tom Thibodeau or, you know, uh, Luke uh, Luke Walton. Or Luke what, Walton, though. Luke Walton wasn't a bad coach. He was a bad coach. Well, he was a bad coach because he just had Golden State. But exactly. it doesn't make me happy. I'm 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 I'm, I'm indifferent. I don't really care, Casey. Casey. Um, I think this is. Let's try something different, and see what happens. So Plus, you so you indifferent, worse, better. How you feel? Giannis like wanted something different, and the Bucks went different. So how are you feeling about this? Is better, worse, or indifferent? You don't care. I mean, I care, but I'm I'm just like, let's see what happens. Mm. I mean, we can't go, we can't do no worse than what we did this year. <laughs> right. I'm in I'm in different Actually, with, we can do a lot worse because even though we didn't win, we were the number one seed. But that's worse to have the number one seed and lose and then to be okay and still make it in and do better. That's yeah. very true. I just hate the fact that um like with the whole Terry Style thing, I'm still I'm with, I'm with Dre. I don't really care. Um, I don't like the coaching situation. Um, I do feel like the Bucks are headed down a very, very ugly path. I think people see it. And yep. If we, if they can see it, we start to see it because we ain't blind. And all of a sudden, we got a situation where um, either we're right back where we started and Giannis leaves or we pull out one more championship. And a lot of things got to go our way. And unfortunately – I believe our championship window has closed. I think we need a dog. And it, it, but I I will say this too. Besides Giannis, is there two other players, even one, one other player. No, I say two. Two other players that on this Bucks current Bucks roster that are untouchable. No. To you. No. You everybody, say everybody can get it. Everybody besides can get Giannis it. And who? besides Giannis. Everybody. Everybody's what? up for grabs. What? Oh, oh, you know, I'm saying, no, I'm, oh, in, in well, I'm saying, I'm saying who's untouchable as far as like, in our his, opinion, or in, like in your opinion, who is untouchable on his current roster? Lopez doesn't count because he's a free agent. He's a free agent. Uh, just Giannis. Everybody else is up for grabs. Jesus speak, speak, speak. Hold who up. Who else is? Speaking of Lopez is up. The is market agent. for Lopez right now it's is high. serious. It's high. Phoenix, LA, mm-hmm. Dallas, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. They're all looking to offer Brook some serious money, so he's gonna get. He gonna get. Brook paid. might be out of here. I don't know. Brook probably be out of on. Brook can probably get a three-year deal and ride off to the sunset. 
Brooke's I, about to get some vapor. I think Brooke like like uh like holiday. He like it here. Though. He likes it here, I but he, like he also it. wants to win another title and get paid. So, so to answer your question, for me, besides yeah. Giannis, everybody can get it. Wow, everybody can get it. Keezy. everybody can get it. I agree. Do what you need to do to win. Get everybody you. but Drew and 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 Giannis and, and, and Drew. But no, let's be honest. And I like Drew. I, I've been. I'm probably, not going out of all three of y'all. Probably the most vocal. But you're telling me right now. That if the Portland Trail Blazers call and say Damian Lillard for Drew Holiday, two future first round picks, you're not doing it. I have to think about it. <clears throat> I have to think long and hard about it. Now, here's the thing: the Bucks are known to be a defensive efficient team, and Thank Dame you. don't play defense. He does not. So if you gonna get over here and and you gonna have to play some defense. Either you- I like Holiday, but, but I he would puts love it, to but, see but Dame. he puts us in a whole new caliber when it comes to offense, though. Yeah, he does. When you play, yeah, when he plays, yeah, when he on, plays. Think of, but when think about play. a pick, but think about it a pick and roll with Giannis and he don't have to work as hard. What does that mean? He can pass the ball, pass the ball. I know. Well, I guess my thing about that is you and say not that, be and not be worried about who he passes the ball to. My thing about that is as much as everybody won't dame, he's no spring chicken, he's old and, and he's he, owed a lot of money. And he's owed a lot of money. Besides the fact he always hurt, and I can say always hurt, he gets hurt, and when he's hurt, he's down. Yeah, he, he is, is always down. Hurt. He is always hurt. Just call it what it to is. Me, but to, to but me, you got to remember when he's over in Portland, mm-hmm. he has to play in, yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. If he yeah. comes to Milwaukee, he, Drew doesn't have to play 45 minutes, do he? No. No. So, my, so imagine Dame having to play less minutes and being on a more efficient team. It's it, it, Your longevity is going to last longer. I can see that. I just... I just is, is, it, it gets, see y'all only see the negative in it. You got to see. I the see positive. the positive too. I just that negative kind of overwhelms been, the negative. I've been I positive, positive about it. All I said was Dame is injury prone. That's not negative. It's facts. So, so you saying? So you saying everybody can get it? What you say, Casey? Say you agree. Everybody but Drew. No, everybody but Giannis. Yep, hands down. But wow. You got. You have to go back. Because you got to have option board. board. You got to have options right now. We don't know what Chris Middleton after that first one. I was asking you. This is what I'm saying. I'm asking you, because I know what you're saying. As far as the quote-unquote money goes, yes, Drew, I mean, not Drew, but Middleton can. He can go. My thing, I asked that question because he won't, he won't probably. He but won't, my thing is this. Because that, if we, once you say everybody's on the table, you're talking about Bobby. You're talking about. Well, the rumor has it Bobby wants to leave anyway. I, I heard. They that, say he wants to leave anyway. I just heard he might. He on the. He on the. Now he on the block, but he's a possibility too. He um. He, they say he unfollowed the Bucks on on social. I heard he about unfollowed that. Giannis, and uh, the Lakers are a dark horse team to get Bobby Portis. And they're not going to bring back a couple of their young guys too. So yeah. see that go. Yeah. But to me, Bobby's untouchable. Uh, Drew is untouchable. Bobby Drew. What you the Bucks need to do whatever they need to do. I, to I will. Make I would like better. us. I would like us to bring back Crowder and bring back Lopez. Jake but can go. But who? Crowder can go. I would like to bring them back just to see it for a full season. And uh, but to me, Drew and uh, Bobby, they're untouchable. I, if we could keep Drew and Bobby, I would be happy. But in order to build a other championship roster, it's going to cost. You. I will say this: I don't like the fact that. Like you said, we are, we have one of the oldest rosters in the in the league. I mean, so my Kyle's thing was Leonard, my, Gordon, Drogic. If you, oh. my thing about that is this: if you go young, that means to me that's that screens rebuild. If you go, you got to go. It's it's a sweet spot. It's a sweet spot. I want experience. Yep. And I want I want veteran that's experience. I don't want no just a veteran. There's a lot of veterans out here who just haven't had the opportunity. But to me, I, th- I feel like if you have somebody who um, can dictate how this team operates, we have a, still have a chance here. And I think we just need a small quirks. I don't think we need to just tear the whole roster down and then we'll see what happens. No, but you asked who's on. You said who's untouchable when you're the Bucks are in a state of emergency. The Bucks are one in four in the last five years, and they should have had at least three titles. Okay, at least three, two, at least three. Bubble two. and last year, and possibly this year. So let yeah, three. Bubble, n- bubble, yes, and then the last year. year. 
No. Okay, good. Fine. Middleton got hurt. Middleton this year, hurt. we were the favorites to win it. This year. Okay. So this three year, titles. The, that's it. This year, the year we won. Okay, three. Three I titles. So the Bucks have to approach the offseason with urgency because just uh, picking up an assistant head coach is not going to do it. Mm. This roster that we have, and I said it on this show, and I was like, you're the this was not a championship roster. I said it also. You said it. They're old. If you run it back with the same roster, you're going to have the same results, coaching or not. Mm. Well, it's been another episode of 94 Feet Podcast. Uh, you can catch us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, a little bit of TikTok. Um, you can also catch us on all streaming platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google po- Podcasts, Spreaker, SoundCloud. Agree with us? Probably, Probably not. not. This is 94 Feet Podcast. 94 Feet Nation, baby. 94 Feet. Peace. Good.